Hello, this is Degoger Gamer, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Tactical Assault. It has been quite a long time since I last recorded, something like two weeks, I think. So, um, yeah, we're back. Um, I can't remember where we are exactly. Um, let's see here. Captain's log start at 7539.1. With the peace negotiation still in progress, the Jefferson has been ordered to escort Klingon Ambassador Karth from a point in the neutral zone to Starbase 2. From there, a permanent meeting place will be determined. My old mentor and friend, John Dane, will accompany, accompany us in the Martel. Cool. Um... This is a, um... Uh, what's the word? Um, a escort mission, I guess. All crew members are aboard and ready to go, Captain. Good, good. Um, so where do we go? Neutral zone. Course, that's for for rendezvous coordinates with the Klingon vessel. Sir, I'm detecting the Cortath directly ahead. Cool. Um, guess I'll hail them? First we'll hail the Martel. Don't bother me now, Matt. I'm lining up a down-the-throat shot. Photon Doritos online. What? He'd try to attack us in a second if there wasn't a temporary truce. Even the Romulans know that. But there is one. Back off, John, before his sensors pick up your torpedoes. Our what? Or what? This may be your mission, but I still outrank you. Which I won't which won't prevent your trial for attacking the ambassador. Alright, I'm ordering my weapons offline. Just remember this Kling this. The Klingons will break their word. They will break the peace. Until they do, I'm accepting their acting with honor. Reynolds out. Channel closed, Captain. Okay. Klingons. Hailing frequency open, sir. This wait, this is the Reynolds of the USS Jefferson hailing Klingon cruiser. Tarkin, commanding the court. I don't know what, a, what voice I should do for him, so I'm just going to say, speak, read it normally. Tarkin, commanding the court half as ordered by the High Council. I am to escort you to Nordir, Nordir to meet Ambassador Karp's ship. Understood. Now that we're all clear on our orders, shall we get on with it? You have courage, Reynolds. Good. We will see you safely to Nordir. Lead on! Channel closed, Captain. Okay, so warp. Nordir. Engaging warp drive! Okay, now what? Hail? Um, the Carf. Or whatever. Welcome, USS Jefferson. Do I speak to Captain Reynolds? You do, sir. The Jefferson and the Martel are at your service. Very good. I trust you will escort me to Starbase 2 with the same efficiency as your arrival here. As you wish, Ambassador. We'll get underway immediately. Excellent. Carf out. Okay, so now we warp. Starbase 2. Course set for Starbase 2, Captain! And we are being attacked. Not surprised. Ten recorders out of post in there. I didn't get time to read that. Report, why have we dropped out of warp? It's Karp, sir. He's under attack. By a Romulan heavy cruiser. Let's hail um, Karp and see what's happening. I detect three Romulan vessels, Captain. That's too many. We're beaming you aboard. Um, This is a save state moment, people. Um, understood, we'll try to fight them off. Uh, Martel. What is it, Matt? Take down as many of them as you can. I'll take care of the ambassador. Um, well, it's kind of hard to protect him, so I'll just say this. Whoa, dude. The Martel is a dreadnought. I did not notice that until now. Look at that thing. It has three warp engines. That is a dreadnought. Okay, this is good. We have a dreadnought on our side. This is the first time I've run into a dreadnought in this game. At least in like a... In like story mode. Oh my god, that's awesome. 
Look at that thing. I want one. I think with a Dreadnought on our side, we'll be, we'll be able to take these guys out pretty quick. What are the Romulans care anyway? Are they like, oh, you can't make an alliance. Oh, you suck. Okay, we've almost got this guy. The Im what? The ambassador's ship has been destroyed. What? Oh, come on. Lame. Lame. So lame. That's not fair. That's not cool. Okay, we've got a Romulan heavy cruiser here. Okay, that's probably not good for our alliance. <laughs> it, I The one thing I really hate about this game is that Whenever you're supposed to protect a ship, it just gets destroyed like that, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's so annoying. Maybe if I try going back to that save state and beaming him aboard. He might get offended by that, though. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens if I continue on like this. Stop getting in my way. That Dreadnought is getting in my way, but at least it's, you know, killing things. Is that the only ship left? Looks like it. Okay, we've almost got this guy by the looks of it. Okay, yeah, he's almost dead. Dead! Sir, Captain Dine is hailing us. Urgent. Jefferson, the last Romulan has warped out. I'm pursuing, pursuing him. Get yourself back to Starbase 2. Don't take chances, John. Break off and I'll come back if it gets tight. Uh, wait. Uh, well, I don't really want to follow the Romulan, so let's say this. Don't worry. If I can't make it back, I'll send a report. Dane out. Okay. Have fun. Now, I wonder if they're going to be mad that the uh, Klingon guy died. Let's hail them. Welcome to Starbase 2, Jefferson. Admiral Jacobs is ready for your debriefing. That could have been a save state moment back there, but eh. <laughs> Mission succeeded. I don't know if that's really succeeded, considering the Admiral guy died. Captain's log, supplemental. It seemed like a simple mission. Escort the Klingon ambassador's ship safely to Starbase 2. Instead, we lost both the ship and the ambassador. Internal sabotage of the ship seems apparent. And it may have been beyond my ability to change the outcome, but the safety of the ambassador was my responsibility. And I failed. And they still give me a mission rating of good. Okay, you know, we're going to save state in slot 3. And we're going to go back to that other state just to see what will happen. So, um, that's too many we're beaming you aboard. To transport, we'd both, we'd both have to lower our shields. That would be suicide. We believe you can, we can beam you aboard before you are in any danger. Or, you're right, let's see if we can find, let's see, let's try this, see what happens. I do not believe that this is a good idea, but I will trust the Federation. We are lowering shields. Sir, we need to lower our shields first to beam the ambassador aboard. Lowering shields. Okay, beam, 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 beam. Faster. Transporter room reporting, sir. We have them. 
red. Okay. Um, now that we have the ambassador, I don't know if I should continue with this fight or what. It might be better if I at least have the ambassador. So, um... Even though I could have just stopped the video like two minutes ago, I'm just gonna keep going with this and see if, um... This is a better outcome. Because I would assume so. I'm, I, I assume this is the better route to take. Based on, um... You know, for the alliance of the Klingons and the Federation, which I assume is what we want. So, we're going to go this route and see what happens. Because I don't want to end up with another really hard mission like that one I told you about that was just freaking impossible. And that was when I wasn't nice to the Klingons. So maybe if I'm nice to the Klingons, I'll get easier missions. But then again, that could backfire. Maybe being nice to the Klingons will give me hard missions, but who knows. Anyway, I'm, I just think it's best to go this route and um, help the Klingons and, you know, um, yeah, be uh, friendly with them. And this way I'll at least um, have succeeded my mission. Whoa, why is it lagging? Okay, it is lagging like crazy. Oh my god. Okay, I have this thing on my computer screen that tells me how much... Um, CPU usage I'm using, and it was at 99%. And it's annoying cause sometimes, because it's like, okay, what is it doing? What is it doing that's taking up all this space? Probably some stupid virus scan. I have Norton 360, which I've heard sucks, but it does a full system scan every five minutes. I swear, it's annoying. Okay, well, we'll make quick work of this guy. It's actually slowed down now. Now it's only running at 72% and it isn't lagging so bad. I feel like I'm hitting the Dreadnought, but I don't think you can. He just keeps getting in the way. Okay, we're all- we've almost got him. Oh, and he's dead. Sweet. Sir, Captain Dine is hailing us. Urgent. Deja vu, huh? Well, now it says no hail targets available. What the heck? Um... Hail? Hello? How are there no hail targets available? He just hailed me. Um, alright. That was weird. Okay, now let's see what happens. Let's see if this was the better path to take. It's probably still gonna get mad at me. Just be like, well, you did save the Admiral, but you lost his ship. Mission succeeded. Again. Captain's log, supplemental. Our safe arrival at Starbase 2 with the Ambassador was greeted warmly. His loss would have been a severe blow to the negotiations. But now they can proceed on schedule. The Romulan attack on us confirms their intention of disrupting the Alliance by any means at their disposal. We will have to deal with them in force. And soon. And now we got a mission rating of excellent. So, hey, we got two crew upgrades instead of one. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. So I'm going to go with this path, because it seems like the better one. So I want to keep the negotiations going. So, um, yeah, that'll end this episode. Um, I was thinking it was going to be kind of a short episode, because when I succeed the mission the first time, it was at 8 minutes, but now it's at 14, and this is the better path to take anyway. But now I'm rambling, so see you guys later.